Now as we have got the motor disassembled, what we are going to do next is to build an adapter in front of the motor that's going to hold the blades. Now to mount the motor what we are going to use is a 2 inch wide steel bar that's going to hold everything together along with the moving assembly. So time to drill some more holes.
now the hub motor is going to produce a three phase alternating current output so to convert it into a more useful dc voltage we have designed and built a rectify unit now this customization is made possible by jlc pcb they are one of the largest pcb manufacturers in china providing a vast range of solutions for manufacturing your customized printed circuit boards at an outstanding cost right at your doorstep now once we have ordered the boards as shown on their website it took them a week to get delivered and yes the quality is flawless later we gathered all the components and started sorting them on the boards as shown on the schematic i'll drop down all the links for the rectify unit as well as the link to the jlc pcb website in the description given below so be sure to check them out Now with a decent airflow the blades started spinning and the generator seems to produce nearly 150 watts of power with the winds blowing at 5 to 7 kilometers per second of speed. Now that might not seem a lot but as opposed to the solar power the wind generator produces power throughout the day and that is something that's going to make all the difference. So guys that's our take on a DIY wind generator I hope you like this project. And for more detailed information, do visit the Instructables blog spot in the description given below. And yes, if you are wondering what this space is all about, so this is going to be our new workshop whose tutorial is going to be uploaded soon. So stay tuned for that.